Hello, everybody, and welcome to Episode 5 of Fallout 4 Mods Showcase. I hope you all had a good Christmas last week, if you do celebrate it. But now that it's over, I know you want nothing more than to get back to modding your Fallout 4. So without further ado, let's take a look at what mods we have this week. The first mod that I want to feature this week is actually a revisit to a mod that I featured back in Episode 2. And uh, that is X Shinra's Better Brick Textures. The mod author sent me a message and told me that the mod had been updated to 4K textures instead of the original 2K version. Um, and asked me if I would retouch on it and I told him, I'm sure I would. The brick textures um, still look fantastic, um, despite the resolution. I thought they looked just fine at the original resolutions, but now that they are out in 4K, they look uh, even better. I still believe that the color of the bricks in this mod are what really, really make it stand out. Um, it really brings uh, all of the bricks uh, to life and makes them look uh, much more realistic. All in all, a uh, really great facelift to all of the brick textures uh, in the game. And since most of the buildings that you'll come across in Fallout 4 are brick, um, this is definitely a mod that really, really changes the look and feel of the entire game. Fantastic work uh, by X Shinra, and uh, definitely something you should go check out. The next mod I want to feature is Darker Combat Armor by Cyanide Express One, and this mod does exactly what you might expect by the title. It adds a darker color and a better texture to the combat armor. The texture on this is absolutely beautiful. It is sort of somewhere right in the middle of dirty and clean. Um, it looks a lot better than the vanilla, but it also still maintains that weathered look to it. So um, that is something that I like very much because I don't like, you know, stuff looking like it's brand new in um, in a Fallout game. It should look like it's a little old and weathered. I really like the darker color of the Brotherhood of Steel version of the combat armor with this mod. Um, I really didn't like the vanilla colors on the Brotherhood of Steel combat armor. And this one looks really nice. It's uh, almost like a black color. And again, it maintains that clean but also old weather look. It looks really excellent. The details on the leather straps uh, are also really amazing. They sort of have that flaky uh, leather uh, look like when leather ages and the top layer comes off. Um, really great look indeed. Um, I really like this mod a lot. All in all, uh, really great uh, retexture and recolor of the vanilla combat armor. And if that's something that you use in your game, but were maybe less than impressed with the color and the texture, then this mod's definitely for you. And finally, the last mod that I'm going to feature this week is a mod that I wanted to feature because it is the debut of one of my personal favorite uh, mod authors. And that mod is the Ojo Bueno Nuka Cola Machine by Tapiox. For those of you that uh, are unaware, Tapiox uh, has made a number of great mods uh, for uh, Fallout New Vegas and also for Skyrim. Um, 
The Ojo Bueno Texture Pack for Fallout New Vegas is one of my personal favorite uh, texture overhauls for that game. Uh, I have used it uh, pretty much um, co consistently since uh, it's been available. And the Enhanced Shaders ENB, which is also made by Tapiox, is one of my personal favorite ENBs to use for both Skyrim and New Vegas as well. And Tapiax has not disappointed with this texture on the Nuka-Cola machine. It is absolutely fantastic. Um, the details on the rust and on the paint are absolutely beautiful and very, very high resolution and detailed indeed. I, I almost feel like I need a tetanus shot after looking at the Nuka-Cola machines now. It's crazy how detailed it is the subtle cracks uh, in the paint around the nuka cola brand um, are much more defined and it, it really gives the texture um, overall uh, a lot more depth um, there's little orange peel type bumps all over on the paint which really just make it come alive and look real and I really love some of the color changes that Tapiax went with here, too. The white, uh, in particular, on the top and on the bottom, not only do they look absolutely fantastic, but it also reminds me a lot of the original Nuka-Cola machines uh, in Fallout 3 and Fallout New Vegas, which uh, is pretty cool. Kudos there, Tapiax. A uh, really fantastic texture uh, of the Nuka-Cola machine and... Just really great work, uh, Tapiax, uh, if you're watching. And uh, I want to say that I cannot wait to see uh, what the future holds uh, for you and Fallout 4. I know it's going to be great. Well, that is going to do it for this week's episode of Fallout 4 Mods Showcase. I do hope that you enjoyed the video. Uh, please uh, hit the like button down below if you did. I would really appreciate that very much. And don't forget to subscribe too while you're down there if you haven't already. That way you'll never miss out on any episodes of this series or any other videos that I may put out in the future. As always, I will remind you that if you do download and enjoy any of the mods featured in this episode, make sure you head on back over to the Nexus pages and give the mod authors an endorsement as well. Uh, with that being said, I'm going to get on out of here, and I will see you all in the next video.